Let's step quickly just back and understand why you need to use one of these two platforms, either Local by Flywheel in the previous video or in this one, I'm showing you Wordify. For WordPress to work, you need a server in which it is installed. You can either do it on your own, which is the previous video, local, or you can use a host. Hosts, however, want to charge you something, but Wordify gives you an option to sign up and then put it on a developer site for free, which means you can practice along completely for free, do everything you need to do. And then at the very end, you can decide to delete it or you can decide to actually go paid and have the site fully live. Sign up, sign in, sign up, sign up, sign in. One note, though, that I have discovered that many times when people sign up, your account isn't immediately active. They want to verify it. If you do see that you cannot access it, just be patient, have a look the next day. And if you need to start urgently, go with the local by flywheel and you can come back to Wordify later on. So create a new site, give your site a name, add a temporary URL, choose a server country. Now, this is usually the one closest to you. I play around with them. I'm never sure which one is closer to South Africa. You can choose. Then from these boxes, you're going to choose dev site. This is a developer site, which you can do for free. Select add site. This will go through the process of setting it up, just like the local by flywheel app did for us. Once done, go all the way to the right and click on the WP icon. And here you're going to get two things. Username, which is Wordify, which is easy to remember. And then you're going to get the password, which you have to copy. From here, you continue to the site and then it will ask you a different dialog box to what you used to, to log in. Type in Wordify and paste the password and log in. And Bazinga, it is exactly the WordPress that you have seen when we did local as well. So the WordPress installation doesn't matter which host, doesn't matter which app, the WordPress is always going to be exactly the same. You won't be able to share this link with anyone. You won't be able to test it on other devices, but you can do so within this browser where you are locked into this Wordify site. So now that you've seen it, you can maybe try both. I told you the downside to local is that it does run slower. If you don't mind that, one or two or 10 additional seconds that you have to wait, then you go for local. Otherwise, you have the option to use Wordify. Make your choice. Let the games begin. Let's do that in the next video.